Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence and critical care imaging. 321 residents interpreted this case of portal vein thrombosis as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 2 out of 10 and an overall average score of 3.42 out of 10. On average, 6.58 points out of 10 were lost due to missed observations. No points were lost due to interpretive errors. We define an effective report to be one which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be A and B. In this most missed case, 19% of residents produce effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be D and F. In this most missed case, 72% of residents produce reports with critical errors. So this is a 59-year-old female with right upper quadrant pain since last night. The patient also has a history of coronary artery disease and IBD, and a right upper quadrant ultrasound was ordered. And the pancreas looks okay. We move on to the liver. The liver is not cirrhotic. There's no biliary ductal dilatation. The portal vein is about 1.5 centimeter in size. And if you look at the portal vein, it looks like there may be, it's not as black as we like to see. It looks like there's some echogenic material in the portal vein. So we're gonna investigate that a little bit more. There's some better pictures coming up here again. Here's the portal vein, and you can see there's some echogenic material in the main portal vein. Here it is again. And then when we put on color, that area, I'm going to go back, that area only partially fills in. So this is compatible with partial uh, portal venous thrombosis in the main portal vein. Some additional findings, again, we're going to look to make sure we don't see any liver lesions, and we did not see any liver lesions on this ultrasound. Some additional findings on this study are, I'm going to skip to the gallbladder pictures, there are some uh, gallstones in the gallbladder, a little bit of sludge, some shadowing stones, the patient did not have a Murphy sign, um, didn't have any other findings compatible with acute cholecystitis, just had some mobile gallstones. and the right kidney was a little bit echogenic, but the main finding is the portal vein thrombus. We'll go back here, this partial portal vein thrombosis. And so this is a priority finding that's gonna be called to the ER. This uh, can be further investigated with a multi-phase CT, but this is compatible with a partial portal vein thrombosis.